Hi guys, my name is Amy. Welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a Beauty Empties video. Um, everything in this is cruelty free to the best of my knowledge as I do cruelty free beauty only on my channel right now. So we're just going to go through and give mini reviews of all these products that I have emptied out that are all used up, that sort of thing. Um, if you're new, welcome. I'm Amy. I'm so glad you're here today. This is a cruelty free beauty channel that focuses a lot on more drugstore and like affordable makeup beauty on a budget basically and I hope you'll hit subscribe and stick around for a while and let's get into these reviews. This is the e.l.f. Flawless Finish Foundation. I can't even tell you how many of these I've gone through. It is a smaller foundation than most. Most come with a fluid ounce. This is 0.68 fluid ounces. However, it's a six dollar foundation so it's pretty inexpensive overall and you it's oil free SPF 15 they have they just expanded the shade range they have like over 30 shades now which is amazing I'm so happy about that so definitely check that out I'll link um, everything in the description for you the shade I used up is the shade light ivory I'm kind of going back and forth between light ivory and porcelain because light ivory is a little bit more on the warm side maybe like neutral to slightly warm and then porcelain's more on the cool side and sometimes I feel like porcelain's too cool but then I feel like this is too yellow. I think I'm going to stick with porcelain from now on but I do really like this. It gives you a sat satin finish on the skin. It's like a nice medium to full coverage foundation. I do have oily skin. However, this isn't oily enough where like I get greasy. I set it with a powder like I do with every foundation pretty much and it stays put. It looks good. It really looks like skin. It's one of my most like natural looking foundations. So I definitely recommend this line, whether you have dry skin, oily skin, like I feel like this foundation really is ideal for a lot of skin types. So this is really good. Check out that. The expanded range is amazing. So, so excited for that. This is sad. I'm so sad this is out. I miss it and it's expensive and I'm like, oh, um, oh, I guess I should answer the flawless finish foundation. I should tell you, yes, I have repurchased. I already have a brand new one in the drawer and I'm almost done with the porcelain one. So basically I have another one that's almost empty and another and a completely new one. So that one's always in my collection. So definitely a repurchase like at least six or more times by now. Um, this is the First Aid Beauty. This is a second time repurchase of mine. And this is the Ultra Repair Hydrating Serum. So I really enjoy this. The First Aid Beauty brand is fragrance free the whole brand and they're formulated more for people with sensitive skin especially like myself they test for allergies that sort of thing I really like it this is like a I think it's like $34 so for a serum at least that you buy at Sephora it's not like the most expensive serum by any means what I like about it is it comes out and it's kind of a cool gel feeling to your like fingers when you're applying it it's very cooling and it's very soothing I have very I have oily skin and I also have a lot of trouble with acne. I've been breaking out so badly right now. I'm hoping you guys can't tell all the acne around my like chin and jaw right now. It's it's bad. I tried to cover it as much as I could. Um, I'm trying to get it all healed up, but, but this was nice. It was just very soothing. So a lot of times my skin will feel like irritated, agitated, itchy, those sort of things. And this always felt very soothing and like calming to the skin. I feel like it is quite hydrating. You really do feel nice. Sometimes I would even skip moisturizer with this because it was moisturizing enough on its own for someone like myself with a little more oily skin, I think. But I really like this. I do recommend it. I don't think I'm going to repurchase it right away because it's so expensive and I'm trying some other products out. But I do recommend this. Firmly, firmly recommend that. <laughs> I miss this product too. Um, this is the Pacifica Berry Dreamy Sleep Over Hydration Mask, which is for the hair. Oh, I love this. Pacifica is also completely vegan. This has like a really nice berry scent to it. It's for dry, color treated, and damaged hair. I don't really have super damaged hair. It's not super dry, but it is color treated. And I do like to use a hair mask once a week or so when I do wash my hair. Like I'll use one before washing my hair just to keep my hair nice and healthy. So I do recommend this. Uh, Pacifica has a lot of great masks. In fact, I have another skincare face mask I'll show you in a minute. But this was just nice. You really, you could sleep with this. Sometimes I don't like sleeping with masks because they get like on your pillow. But if I did it before, like I was going to do laundry or something, that's not the worst thing in the world. But sometimes I would just like wake up in the morning, put this on immediately, like a couple hours before I was going to wash my hair. And that still works. Like my hair still felt nice. So I do like this. It's a really gentle but hydrating mask on the hair so that was really nice 
The other mask I have is a sheet mask. This is the Pacifica Mattify Prep Pineapple and Hyaluronic Facial Mask. So this is specifically for clearing oil and clarifying. Amazing. This mask, oh, oh, beautiful. Um, it has vitamin C, green tea, and papaya. It does recommend this mask for oily in combination, which I totally agree with. I use this and my skin just looked so much softer, like healthier, like not as aggravated. Like again, I, I struggle with redness, acne, that sort of thing. It just looked calmer, not greasy, just very like clean, but hydrated. It was just perfect. I love this. It, it was really enjoyable to use. I would definitely look for more masks from them. I'm very intrigued now. I finished up an eye cream recently. I don't have any eye cream to replace it, so I'm kind of like, well, um, I'm kind of like back and forth if I need an eye cream or just use moisturizer. I don't know. Let me know your opinions on eye cream down below. I know a lot of people are on one side or the other, like, yes, you need an eye cream. No, you don't. It's the same as a moisturizer. Let me know your opinion. I'd be fascinated. This is the Ever Clean like clean but with an e, just an E eye cream and that's all it says. I got this in a box a while ago and it's really nice. Um, It was just kind of a like a nice like white cream. Super soft. Um, It was a little bit like richer and thicker than my moisturizer. It felt really soft around the eyes. I would just kind of dab it under the eyes and a little bit um over like around the brow bone almost and it just felt nice. My eye area looked really nice and smooth. Am I gonna like go out and seek this out like specifically Probably not, because um, again, I'm kind of undecided about eye cream in, at the current moment, but it was nice. It definitely was nice. Um, I, I did like it because I oftentimes will have issues with um, creams or masks irritating my eye. Like even if it's not touching the eye area, just like near it, the smell or fragrance will like almost irritate my eyes, especially right now because I have really bad allergies. Hopefully you can't hear that in my voice, but I'll have really, I have really bad allergies frequently and my eyes are already irritated from the allergies, so this was really nice. It definitely didn't irritate my eyes, which I very much appreciated. More skincare. This is the Kate Somerville Exfoliate Intense Exfoliator. I love that pun on words. That's so fun. I did get this in gratis at Sephora, as you can see from the little sticker there, and this is just like a sample tube. I don't know if they sell it in this size specifically, but this was really nice. This is definitely like a once, maybe twice a week, depending on how your skin tolerates it, type of treatment. Like, don't, do not use this every day. That would be a lot, I think. But it's really nice. You kind of massage it into the skin. It, it comes out green, but it's very, like, it definitely um, exfoliates. You can feel it kind of has a little bit of a, like, texture to it, the product, but it's also very smooth. So you're not, like, you don't feel like you're scratching or scraping or being rough on your skin. So you kind of put it on your skin, and then you're supposed to leave it on for two minutes to really let the chemical, like, exfoliators in it to really, like, go in and work. So it's nice because you're kind of getting, like, a bit of a physical exfoliator, and then you're getting a deeper, like, more chemical exfoliator that's going deeper in the skin. So that's really nice. I do feel like this helped in keeping my, like, skin nicer, a little bit smoother. When I was using this consistently, it did help with acne as well. So I do recommend the product. Kate Somerville is really quite expensive. So if you can, try to get like a sample of this, like go in the store and ask for one. Um, Cause it's Kate Somerville is quite expensive, but it what I really did like it personally. Okay, so next I have this brand. My mom picked me up this giant bag of like sheet masks at Costco, which was really nice of her. It's by the brand Lapcos, which I could not find a lot online full disclosure i could not find a lot about this like online with animal testing but it is i believe a korean yeah made in korea korean brand and they don't have animal testing laws so hopefully i'll have to see i'll try to find it online but i have not used all the masks up because it comes with it comes with a lot of masks but i have used up one two three five masks so two of them were the charcoal mask that was I've been reaching for that especially because, like I said, I've been struggling even more recently with acne. It's been a little bit of a nightmare, so charcoal has been my friend because my skin does really like that. So the charcoal sheet mask is definitely my favorite. They're just soft, like, kind of cloth masks. The charcoal ones were black. They sit on the skin pretty well. I find, I find that they have, like, a lot of liquid in these, so you do have, when you're pulling it out, it kind of drips. So just be aware. Um, maybe put you know, do it on a counter or something that's easy to wipe down or put a towel down. It does kind of drip because there's so much product, but on the bright side, you're not going to get a sheet mask that doesn't have any product or it's very dry. So you do get a lot of product. 
Um, I also really enjoyed the alloy, or alloy? I feel like I'm saying that weirdly for some reason, which is their soothing mask. Again, that was just really soft, comforting. Did it clear up my skin or anything? No, but it did make my skin feel and like just look a little bit happier, if you will. Um, the other one I used up was the Honey, which is nourishing. I really didn't notice much from that one, personally. Uh, maybe my skin was already pretty nourished. I don't know. That one was the, out of the five I've tried so far, just didn't do a lot for me. And then the Aqua Hydrating, I really loved. It, it made my skin feel very bright, healthy, soft. So I really enjoyed that. These are, these are really good. So this is just a little bag they came in. I still have quite a few more to try out. Um, I haven't even tried... All the styles yet so you will see more of those in my empties but so far I think this is a pretty good deal um because you get eight masks and two bonus exfoliating pads and I have not tried the exfoliating pads I need to do that that would be that would be good um with my current skin situation but so far I'm very much enjoying this so I think it's a pretty good deal if, like you're someone who likes to try a bunch of masks and this is a great way maybe to see how your skin if your skin like likes charcoal a lot or honey, like what it reacts the best to, and then you can go out and purchase maybe more masks in that same like type of category or ingredient. So just, just my two cents. I'm so sad this is out. I have like this much left in the pump I put this in. This is a CVS Health Pore Perfecting Toner. It's just 100% natural witch hazel that I picked up at CVS. I mean, you can pick that up pretty much anywhere that sells skincare probably like Target, Walmart, I'm sure you could find it there. Drugstores basically. Amazing. Amazing. Uh, my first experience with Witch Hazel was like a year or two ago and I felt like it kind of burned my skin but the problem was is I was overdoing it. I, I use it as a toner and I was using it twice a day like immediately and me personally I have sensitive skin. My skin was burning because I introduced it way too fast but I tried again in the last like six months or so and I tried it once a day and wow my skin felt good it was just nice it wasn't drying that was my concern it's supposed to be good for um, conditioning your pores and I also like to use a toner just as a, a secondary cleanser in a way so I'll cleanse my face and then I'll go in with the toner or my cellar water just to make sure I did get off all of the makeup dirt etc on my face so this worked really well for that it's inexpensive. You can buy like a bunch of this. Like this lasted me six months or so uh, for a toner. And before that, I was buying these Yes to Micellar Waters with the little pumps. And I would have to pick up a new one of those like every month and a half because I would go through it so quickly. This I didn't go through as quickly. You get more for your product. This is 16 fluid ounces. Really amazing stuff. Um, I don't personally have a lot of issues with my pores. However, if you do, this is supposed to be amazing for helping, like, kind of conditioning and, like, diminishing your pores, like, making them look a little bit smaller or tighter, something like that. Um, I do find that this also was good for acne. I felt like my skin was just clearer and brighter, basically. So I, I need to repurchase this immediately. I'm trying out another micellar water right now, which I really do like, but this was great as a micellar water kind of product and as a little bit of a toner, too. So this is, like... The, this is like the dynamic duo. This is the Batman and Robin of toner micellar waters and it's inexpensive so basically this has been like the best toner I think I've ever used so I cannot recommend trying witch hazel enough. I need to use up the micellar water I have and get on this again because it really worked well. Um, I have this Alba Botanica Hawaiian conditioner. This is the Colorific Plumeria for vibrant lasting color. And it's supposed to not strip your hair of color or anything. I didn't have any issues with it stripping my hair of color. So that is good. However, it's not a very deep condition. Um, if you're someone who washes your hair like daily or every other day, this might be enough for you. But if you're someone like me who washes your hair like less frequently and when you do wash it, you really want to uh, kind of aggressively shampoo and condition it really well because you're only doing it like every five days or so like I am, this wasn't enough for me. This is to me not a bad product but more of like a daily product or maybe if you're someone who has like oily hair like more greasy scalp and stuff this would be a good way to like lightly condition your hair without adding like a ton of like hydration and grease to your hair basically so it's not bad it's just not what I wanted for myself basically if that makes sense uh, next product this is something I got in the Bombay and Cedar 
special edition winter box they sent me last winter, which was so exciting. I'll link the video up above. It's a really cool service. Yeah, a really cool service. I really did enjoy that. So this product was sent to me, full disclosure. This is the LM Organics Oatmeal Colloidal Bath Soak Green Tea and Peppermint, and it's number 12. I don't know what the number 12 is. Um, <laughs> referencing it is all 100% organic ingredients and oatmeal especially is supposed to be really good for like dry skin or irritated skin so this is an amazing thing to put in like a winter box especially I really I'd say I'd give this like a three and a half out of five stars and I'll tell you why the smell is amazing you get a really strong peppermint scent lovely. The smell is amazing. It's very relaxing. I do feel like my skin felt nice and maybe not as dry after I used this. So it was, the experience was really good. The reason I would deduct like one star or maybe one and a half stars is it is so messy. Um, there's no product in it now, as you can tell, but it was like a loose like mixture of like oatmeal and like some sort of like I don't want to say spices, but like, you know, peppermint, green tea, like kind of dried up like leaves I'm imagining. And it was, it was so messy to clean up. Um, the other thing I don't understand is on here, it doesn't actually tell you how much to use. So I kind of had to experiment with what worked for me. Um, but when it comes to products, whether it's bath products, makeup products, whatever, I do appreciate a little guidance. Like, do you want me to use like a small scoop? You know, like a little, like a handful, like what would you like me to use? Um, I did go through this product really quickly. Again, I take baths very frequently, so that's just, that's just me. Um, I'm sure most of you don't take baths as frequently as I do, so maybe that wouldn't matter as much to you. So, would I seek this out again? No. I feel, I just, I feel bad because in terms of the quality of like the actual experience and the bath, the smell was amazing. It was strong. It filled up my entire bathroom, which I personally love. I want to feel very relaxed. I need to feel very relaxed. The bath helps a lot. And the experience in the bath was amazing. You know, it wasn't, it just felt nice. The smell was great. I was very relaxed. So I really do enjoy using the product it just you have to make sure you really rinse down your bathtub afterwards otherwise you'll have this stuck to your bathtub forever <laughs> maybe not forever but for a few days so that is my only real critique is that you kind of go through this quickly but that's again I, I take baths super frequently so that's just my my viewpoint and then it is kind of messy to clean up so just you have to make sure you rinse it down really good so otherwise I do like it so I don't know. I'm not sure exactly how to how to rate that, but it's a pretty good product with like one kind of flaw that I would hope I hope maybe they can figure out a way to like combine it better. I'm not sure. This one I like as well. This is the um, Shea Moisture African Black Soap Clarifying Mud Mask with Tamarind Extract and Tea Tray Oil. Sorry, it looks all gross. Um, this is for specifically for like blemishes or troubled skin as they put it. Love this. My skin did feel well. So this came out, it was actually mud. So I was really surprised. I thought it was like a sheet mask that was like folded up or something, but it actually is like a very thin but creamy mud mixture that you just kind of push out, just like you're squeezing like something out of a tooth, like a toothpaste, um, out of your toothpaste like tube. Same kind of thing. But the, I thought the mud would be super thick and like hard to work with because it was in this kind of container. It was so smooth. Like I put it on, it felt amazing. My skin looked better. I do think it helped with my acne. So I love it. I would definitely love to try that again and just keep using it. This was cool. I don't use a nail polish very much. This is the Butter London Patent Gel Flawless Base Coat. I just used this up. I like this. I definitely like this. It it served me well. I don't have a lot of complaints. It's just really expensive. And I'm doing this, using this other brand from Target, which is the Defy and Inspire base coat currently. And it's been working amazingly. And that's like an $8 one. And I think this one, this was a gift, but I want to say Butter London usually retails for like $16 or so. So unless I got a really good deal on this, I would probably skip it for a better deal, basically. I didn't love this very much. This is the Kale and Green Tea Spinach Vitamins Age Prevention Cleanser, and the brand is Youth to the People. It is made in California, and it's supposed to be good for all skin types. I, it just, 
it didn't do a lot. So it doesn't say on here whether or not it's good for makeup. It did not take makeup off very well. You'd have to like do several cleanses even when I was wearing like lighter makeup. So that wasn't great. Then um, even when I wasn't wearing makeup, I would use this because I thought, okay, maybe it's just one that doesn't take off makeup. That's okay. Like if it's not supposed to, you know, I'm not going to like discount it for that. It, I just, my skin never felt clean. Like I don't want that tight feeling because that means you kind of dried your skin out while cleansing it. But it just kind of felt like, I don't know, it just did not feel good. And the other thing I would discourage against, I don't know if this is perhaps like a sample size product because it wasn't a subscription box, but this open jar format is terrible. Like, and it's not just this brand, it's just in general because it does smell good. I give it. I do give it that. It does smell really amazing, but because you'd have to like dump it out into your hand and then I'd get too much or too little and it was just kind of frustrating. It wasn't great. So I, yeah, I wouldn't recommend this. I don't feel like it cleansed my skin very well. Definitely didn't take off any makeup at all. And then the the packaging is just really, really annoying. I did, I, this is another product I did not, my skin did not react well to this. This is the Modicum number four Birch Tree Water Spritz. And this is supposed to be skin cell nutrients and you're supposed to spritz on dry or irritated skin as needed throughout the day so I do I don't have dry skin but my skin is quite irritated frequently this irritated my skin further like I would spray this on and it would burn <laughs> and this was supposed to be kind of refreshing soothing is kind of what I got from the what the description said and it, it really irritated my skin now full disclosure i have sensitive skin so that's not shocking to me maybe it's just me because i'm more sensitive but if you have sensitive skin i definitely would skip this i didn't see any benefit really either so i just not my favorite um so this is the lush free from harm clarity pot which was like a I like a charity one, like if you bought it, you got like a certain amount that would go back to charity. This was way, it was still, it kind of went old, old on me, but the cream was really amazing. Um, it doesn't have like a, it has like a light kind of vanilla scent to it. Not very sweet, but just like a touch of that. So it smells pretty good. I, what I do is I would take a bath every night, or I would take a bath. I would come out of the bath and I would immediately put this on my feet and then put on like thick fuzzy socks. Oh, my feet were, do were doing so well with this. I need to get another cream out because all the creams I have right now are like a bit thinner, which works well for my arms, legs, but my feet need a little bit more moisture for sure. But this was really nice. I enjoyed this. This came out a while ago, so I'm not sure if that's still sold, but I did like it. And last thing, we have the Juara Coconut Lippy Ham and Nail Balm Hydrates and Conditions Hands, Nails, and Cuticles. So this is what it looks like. Again, another subscription box product. So I'm assuming this is probably like a bit of a smaller, this might be a smaller travel size product. And this is supposed to be great for the hands. I didn't really care for this. It just kept sitting in my drawer and I kind of forced myself to use it. I actually used it up a lot on my feet. I felt like it never fully absorbed into my hands. Like it would take a long time. And as much as I want my hands and cuticles to be hydrated, especially this time of year, it just wouldn't sink in. So I couldn't like go typing on my computer or like, like I couldn't do anything because my hands were still like all greasy. And I, even when I used like a very small amount. So it worked better on my feet because I could put it on my feet, then use like socks over it. So this, you know, they could have all night to soak that in. But for a hand balm, it just took forever. It, it took a long time. So I wouldn't recommend it. Personally, I've tried other ones that are just as rich and moisturizing that don't take that long to absorb. So not my favorite, not bad, but not my favorite. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching till the end. Let me know down below what have you recently emptied out. Would you give it a five-star review, one-star review? Would you repurchase it or have you already? I would love to know. Thank you again for watching. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you haven't already. I would love it if you stick around. I do upload four videos a week on Tuesdays, Thursdays, Saturdays, and Sundays, and I don't want you to miss out on any more awesome content coming out. I'll see you guys in my next video. Have an amazing rest of your day. Bye!